This is it, mystery cover for me. So let's see what's inside this one. Wait for a while and bring the scissors. So I brought the scissors. This is the feather. This is green color and some green color at the bottom, darker gray, and this is a lighter green. So this is cardboard pieces for watercolor. This is for uh, making some stamps a palette from the shape to eyes and mouth teeth. Uh, teeth now the last item out this is colored sticks Ice cream color sticks, so orange, green, yellow, and uh, purple. Then the light purple, uh, dark magenta color. So these are the items which in the mystery box, sorry, mystery pack. The stamp and feathers, this ice cream sticks water color palette so now i am going to make one di i am going to use scissors so i was not prepared to make a diy he using what my father is going to buy and put it in the mystery box so i am going to now think of an idea and do that so i'll be right back Okay, friends, I got an idea. So first, I'm going to take these orange sticks. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and one, two green. So now this water colors. So these items were bought in the Isti Bisti shop only. So I am going to now take two feathers. So I think two feathers are enough. So I am going to keep this one aside and now cut these sticks. Sticks are really hard, but can be able to cut. So cutting this one is, so if I 
hold this one and that means this one is flying out so that's alone just a problem for me a boat are flying sometimes and this stick is uncuttable so hard but easy to break with your hands rather than scissors but the lines will be not perfect so you want to turn half alone So I also need a paper sheet. So I keep the stick. So since this is plain white and the paper is also white, I am going to paint this one. So for this one, I need the same palette only. So I am also using side note. These bricks are used for stamping. So you need to take one. Minute. Thin cardboard or canvas like they arrange this one like a um, square triangle like that so that and you need to apply paint and press this one and the imprint will come so this is for stamping and you, if you like you use this for some other things too so I definitely use this blocks so blocks so I will, will call this one as Square bricks only so this is actually blocks so you can even use for some other items too red color mix that dip this one and in the bottom of the brush and then scratch this one and make some crows to fly upon this flower so I really don't know how much so I should draw for this only one single paint batch so so now you can even use the brush also so why I selected the bottom means so that it's more but the Paint but bottom is so rough, so I could not paint that much very well. So, this is our final design. So, I was asking why I choose this, why I picked out this feather. Is so, keep on see why I took this green color one, just cut off the tip. apply blue at the particular length so I think this length is quite a big length so okay okay now this one is perfect now you need to stick this one here so why I put the this one another piece means I wanted it to look 3D ish. So that's okay. Got the another feather. So you need to measure the amount of glue you are going to put. So here. So don't put at the feathers on furry thing. Now I got it. This is furry thing. Just put that at the rim. And now you need to stick this one here. If you like. So this one is complete. So if you have a board or an uh, instrument for using 
I don't know that instrument name, but like you can do this one too by doing keeping this one like this one hole in the center so that it can easily rotate and make it block. So first I thought that idea only and I don't have that instrument and a round board. So I so I thought to make this one only. So the next step is I'm going to use these sticks too. For that we need one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six, six. On this thing, my measurement will be as correct. Ouch! The main part is a thrown away. So now I got it was under the table and put the hands inside and just let down tapply. So this time the parts so mm. so I don't think why I got this one in this cross section wise so the next step is to make six things like the same so So three over another three. This one broke quite easy without any effort. This one also broke easily. So this is the last tip we need. This one is also okay. So and you can even use this one for another device too so what for this one is I need the glue attach apply the glue and keep this one here So if you have bigger space to put it inside, you can do it. So uh, I think afterwards that I uh, use this yellow color so that it's much gradient like thing. But this is also okay for me. Attach this one here. And I have a problem of doing one thing alone which is if I attach this one here this would hit the flower petal so that is my problem so let's think of this way by lifting this one attaching this one here applying another layer of glue over here so that this would just work enough or I have another idea second idea just cut this part yes yes so now apply some glue over here
now our painting is done using the mystery box so we need to let this one dry because the three d outliner will dry for uh, i also don't know how much time it will dry so since this is night time like uh, this is six twenty nine so so i think this will dry overnight If you like this mystery box DIY and this mystery box, give this video a like, share, subscribe and click the bell icon so that you won't miss my further updates in my channel, EKD Ideas and Dreams. And thanks for watching. Bye.